Give us one that you even had to laugh at yourself. Like you even had to laugh, like, I can't believe he just said this or, you know. Okay. So I, this was when I was on Tinder. <clears throat> and I think I may have mentioned this in the previous podcast about um, just the guy I was on a date with. And he admitted on the date that he basically lied about his whole profile. And I'm just like, you know, dumbfounded. Mm-hmm. He's asking me, you know, do you smoke, do you drink? I'm like, no, nah, not really. And he's like, oh, I drank, but I didn't smoke at that time. Mm-hmm. And he was like, oh, well, yeah, I used to smoke, but I just quit. Okay, cool. He was like, yeah, my, my dealer was, you know, putting crack in my weed. <laughs> wow. And, and, and I was like, oh, like, um, okay. Is that like a different genre of weed that I don't know about? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, he was lacing my, uh, weed with crack and it used to bubble when I smoked it but like yeah I just quit smoking like um two weeks ago now I'm sitting here like I I don't smoke crack <laughs> but knowing what I know crack does not give me the type of oh I just quit two weeks ago I'm good type of thing right because <laughs> I feel like the crack epidemic might have looked a little different if that was the case so now I'm sitting here trying to scarf down these tacos and reason with the fact that I'm on a date with a crackhead. <laughs> like, and I'm in college, so of course I'm going to finish my meal. I'm starving. It's the, it's the least I deserve. Yeah, right. I did not talk to him again after that and in, an, in a rush to get back to my dorm and tell my roommate that I just went on a date with a crackhead, <laughs> for, forgot to block his number. The weekend comes and he texts me and I quote, well, it looks like you don't want to be my girlfriend. So, and he goes, oh, well, you know, since it looks like you don't want to be my girlfriend, maybe we can just be friends with benefits. So now my jaw dropped for a second time in like the past couple of days. And along with that, he sends a link to his personal Pornhub channel. And I'm like, oh, and my roommate, she's like, open it up, open it up immediately, right? So now <laughs> we're looking at it and I will not repeat what we saw. Yeah. But I can confirm it was crackhead behavior. <laughs> so he literally had a he hold, hold on. He literally had a Pornhub link. Like he actually was on Pornhub. Yes. Crazy. Yes. Face in the videos. <laughs> doing doing very much drug. <laughs> wow. And Pornhub let that on there, huh? I said after that I, I did take a break at the time you know I was like serial dating on tinder mm-hmm. um I've had dates that were just like so weird that like I left in the middle I've had dates where guys were just rude for no reason um case in point the guy that I met on Facebook dating actually recently invited me over for barbecue sound like a great idea to me mm-hmm. um said he was gonna be at the pool grilling he's a chef sounds great um, I get to the location. I'm looking for the pool. It's a kiddie pool. It was marketed as a barbecue. It's just me and him. Oh, at the kiddie pool. And I'm like, what is going on? Is, is this retrograde? Is this what this is? Because how did I get duped into this? Oh, my God. And you know me, I'm always gonna leave with a plate, but good golly. <laughs> the kitty pool, I know I'm sm- I'm short, but I can swim. Yeah. That was rude. <laughs> oh my God. So you did get a plate. I'm always going to get a plate. I think it's the least I deserve after the crack activities, the kitty pools. Minimum. Minimum. <laughs> was the food good? The food was good. The food was good. Okay. Well, I mean, you know. Food was seasoned well, I guess. You know, I guess. I guess at least know. you could, you didn't have to fill up the pool too much. It's about 20 minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You should write a book. I plan to. My memoirs are going to be a bestseller, I'm sure. Um, I'll have to wait a couple years on that. Wait for a couple NDAs to expire, mm. you know, so we can get the real tea out there. But yes, it's coming. It's coming. I will get my purchase. I'm, I will buy my <laughs> copy because I only can imagine all the other ones that we don't have time to tell, you know, so. 
<laughs> Let me know if you want to do the 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 serial dater special. I'll be here. That will be live. I'm, I'm all down for that because uh, some folks need some help out here in, the, in these dating streets. Yeah. <laughs> What's the big what do you, what is the biggest mistake you see women make when it comes to dating? 